Brooklyn-based Biologic Models has been experiencing quite a bit of growth in the demand for its physical models of proteins and molecules. The company produces a wide range of 3D printed models, specifically on request by doctors, academic institutions, and even regular people interested in finding out more about the way proteins work. To optimize cost and lower retail prices of its education models, Biologic Models has launched a crowdfunding campaign specifically aimed at large-scale reproduction of one type of protein that is involved in a disease affecting millions of people worldwide, diabetes. The company's founders believe that seeing how a hemoglobin works can help many people gain a greater understanding of their condition. Medical applications of 3D printing are one of the fastest growing segments both in terms of additive manufacturing adoption and for the benefits of these new technologies which are introducing especially for customized implants and pre-surgical modeling. Biologic model 3D prints can be custom tailored to meet healthcare, educational and even promotional activities. All models can also be color coded to reveal important information about hydrophobicity, atom types, binding and active sites within the protein structure. Each protein model is created beginning with X-ray crystallography data sets of actual proteins, which are then brought to life through additive manufacturing, and then, if demand requires it, injection molded into consumer-grade products. Custom 3D printed proteins vary in price based upon their physical size, material selection, printer fees, and model complexity. Hi, my name is Casey. I'm a medical illustrator and a type 1 diabetic. I make 3D animations about science and medicine. What we're doing now is we're taking our digital models from out of the computer and turning them into physical objects. This is hemoglobin A1C, and it's a protein that's looked for in a common blood test given to every single diabetic, the hemoglobin A1C test. We want to get these into the hands of diabetes educators, physicians, and diabetics all over. And we want them to better understand the hemoglobin A1C test. Our protein model started out when I uh, found myself on the phone with an action figure toy designer. And uh, after we discussed uh, some plans, uh, we ended up creating uh, a physical model of hemoglobin. I was in my, my own endocrinologist's office one day. So when Casey came to the office for his routine physical exam and blood work, at the end of the visit he was talking about this 3D model and I just basically said to him, listen, if we just added some sugar particles, which is glucose, to this model, we could better explain the hemoglobin A1C test. Every three months, uh, we measure how much sugar is sticking onto the hemoglobin particles. So you can, this for example, this little blue piece, these blue pieces represent sugar. The more of these you have, the worse your blood sugar control is. The less you have, of course, the better the control. It was just a light bulb that went off my mind because I saw hemoglobin in my mind and I saw glucose attaching to it. And you know, it, now it wasn't a number, it was a physiological process that was happening. And if it's happening to hemoglobin, you know, what's happening to the other proteins in my body? In the meantime, in the body, the blood sugar is, you know, affecting all these cells to a certain degree and slowly over time is causing the damage. So over time, the kidneys will start to deteriorate, but it can take some time before you see that. And if you wait that long, then, that, then at that point it can be too late. Our hemoglobin model which is unglycated, which has no glucose attached to it, can be used as a comparison of against hemoglobin A1C, which is fully glycated, which has glucose attached everywhere. And this can be used as the disease state representation of prolonged elevated blood sugar so that people can understand healthy and, and diseased. We, we did a small study with the fifth grade science class where we tested our physical models. When the children got the chance to handle it and look at it, it was often hands on top of hands. Did you see that? That right there is an atom, and this is called the heme group, and I think that the kids really responded. If you don't take like, good care of your body, like all these things can attach to your hemoglobin. Middle school and high school kids like really love candy, and now they can see what happens if they eat too much. I actually think I learned more about um, this molecule of hemoglobin than I'd learn in uh, basically school because I can see the uh, model 
and I can know um, what's going on in your body by, um, yeah, by looking at it. Every diabetic gets an A1C test, and people who are pre-diabetic, which means they may become diabetic, also are screened and get A1C tests. So the understanding the hemoglobin A1C test is crucial in order to help these patients work at achieving their goals. Um, the hemoglobin A1C model is a great visual to help these patients get a better understanding of what it means to achieve an A1C goal. We investigated a number of different manufacturing solutions and concluded that it makes most sense to produce our models locally here on the East Coast. You can select a model for yourself or have one sent to a diabetes educator or physician as a gift. When I became diabetic, I didn't know anyone in my family with diabetes and I didn't know anything about it. Now I know something very specific. If you support our campaign, we'll make certain these educational models get into the hands of diabetes educators, physicians, and diabetics around the world. I want to make certain everyone understands the hemoglobin A1C test the way I do. 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems.